hello good day you are welcome to another edition of our online class and today i want to talk about lightning arrestor the last video i made somebody somebody made a comment and he talked about i was saying why not talk about lightning arrestor i feel it's important to talk about that today very shortly we'll be going into the classroom we'll be talking about that please at the end of this video Please like, share it, and also subscribe if you've not subscribed. So please, let's go ahead, let's go to the classroom, and let's go talk about lighting arrestor. We are back to the classroom. Like we talked about, like I was talking earlier, we were talking about lightning arrestor. Lightning arrestor, it's, it's a device that helps in reducing the damage uh, lightning can cause to your energizer knowing fully well that your energizer is an your electric fence they are always outdoor right and uh, your energizer might be indoor but you should understand that there's a tendency where you have voltage from lightning coming through the wires the wires of your fence that can go through that line into your energizer and by the time they get to that energizer it gets your energizer damage. But when this is considered, you have this uh, uh, installed to your energizer, it helps to arrest lightning from the from the from, from from lightning from damaging your energizer. Let's take a look at what the lightning arrestor looks like. Okay, in the video, you're gonna see a picture of what that is. I will show you even with this, you see that picture of what it looks like. Okay, this is an example of uh, a lightning arrestor from Nemtech. This is a single pole arrestor. You can use this also for your electric fencing. We also have the double pole. The du double pole is this very one. This one, this is a double pole for your lightning arrestor. We can also, we also call it the lightning diver diverter. All they do is to help trap lightning and take to the ground now this a uh, video here so let's say this image you see this uh devices here installed closer to the energizer the one circled they are all arrestors they are used they help to sub uh, subdue lightning from damaging your energizer okay i let me just do a caricature sketch you have stuff like this you can have power one part, um, you have uh, three pins. This is the F, okay? This to face, this to F, this to face, and this last terminal is to energize. So how can you connect this lightning arrestor to your electric fence? Let's take a look at this. Assuming we have our fence like this, what you need to understand. Okay. Let's assume this is our fence. Okay, is our life, our earth, our life, our life, our earth, and life. Let's assume we've looked this here. Let's assume this has been looked here. Okay, this gets here. Okay, and this one, and these are earth. Our earth, we can loop our earth here. All right. Then, this is the part. These are, let's say these are fence, um, should I say fence street uh, in, fence out, which is called, let's assume the energizer is here. We have our energizer here, okay. Okay. And we have, um, let's say, the fence out this is fence 
out and this is fence return this is a earth the earth can see any of them okay earth return and earth earth out since we understand fully where that uh, our uh, earth terminal has been looped so we just have to understand what connection we need to take in from each of these points now this is your arrestor we need to look for the best place you connect this arrestor is right before the fence closer to your energizer okay first thing you should do very close to your energizer where this um, arrestor will be installed you need to have three earth rods see earth rod one two and earth rod three this let's assume this is the ground okay this is the ground right you must understand that the distance between each of these this earth rod for the first three earth rod closer to the energizer where this will be installed also shouldn't be more than between here to here should be 1.2 meters this one also to this one should be 1.2 meters but other other earth rod closer to the fence it can be done at okay maybe on 30 30 meters apart from here the one that will come from here maybe this one this line let's assume okay assuming this one is coming from here okay these ones they can be it can be 30 30 meters apart that is no problem but we're concerned about this all right now this device which is your earth uh, your lightning arrestor must be installed very close to this either is installed let's assume we're installing a, a arrestor here okay so it is by the time you open the terminals you see the force you see your fence you're the one to energizer e energizer then you have the second one to fence okay to fence and the third one to up i want you to understand that the cable from this from your energizer you know on a normal day your earth cable comes directly to this place for this we are not coming here all we need to do is to take this the earth cable we take this down to the earth rod the earth here link it up this earth understand they are all they are all linked okay this is linked to this and this is linked to this bring your earth from your energizer down to this all right then the one from your fence one is coming all the way let's assume it's coming here to this earth rod also closer to the energizer all right then the last earth from here from this one is coming all the way to the ground to the to the earth rod here so right now as it stands we have every of our earth connected to this system all right this here this here and this here cool now what we need to consider here for this system we need to have minimum of two because one is supposed to take the out and the other will take the, re the return so we're having another of this uh, restore very close here also okay same thing here one two three this is same as this this is same as this which is the fence and this 
same sorry this is same as the earth okay this first one energizer the second one fence this third one earth so linking up this is to get your out of your face this is the out terminal so it means this needs to be opened maybe we're doing a connection you need to open up there's no way you have that connection else if it's closed here it means your uh, your face would not work uh, adequately because if it's if there is any uh any cut here because there's a loop here it won't raise an alarm so we need to open this up to understand these are fence and these are fence return it's only the earth terminal that is loop so i get my out now this is my out first i'm going to feed uh this to the energizer okay this from here to the energizer point of the first one now the first from the first terminal of the first um or the first arrestor i need to take from the fence directly to the fence now because there's an indication an indicator here indicating fence that i need to connect to the fence so i need to take this from here this comes from the energizer to the arrestor arrestor takes from there the fence terminal the second day that's the fence number two terminal goes to the fence that's the in the fence out which is in it's coming here now it goes in all the way this is the flow of its current yes this direction okay gets here it's turning this way it gets here let's say it comes down here okay then when it gets here it needs to return back so it doesn't need to go straight to the energizer all we need to do is to take it back to the second uh arrestor lightning arrestor so i need to take this one all the way to fence to the fence of this okay now mind you I haven't connected this all i need to do is to also bring this to this at a connection here this connection we have here the okay? then this other one this other part of this go all the way to the energizer so this is the line of the movement of this current hope that is clear now let's go over it again this is the first arrest and this is the second one the out of this energizer feeds this okay now the first terminal of this goes into the fence this is the line of the movement of its current okay now it gets here all the way and when it gets here comes back to the fence of this other one okay Mind you, this was the label, so you don't get yourself confused with this. Uh, I need to remove the label, okay? Let me see that the, the, it doesn't look too clumsy. Okay, let me remove this label. Okay. Is that okay? This one comes to the fence terminal, the fence. There's the fence terminal, the same one. Now, from the energizer, which is the first, the first one is always labeled energizer. This one is going back from here, back to the energizer. So this circuit here is complete. Now your earth is to the asteroid. Like I said earlier, 1.2 meters each between each of them. So you have three of them. So this is how you connect your light, lightning arrestor to electric fence. And this helps safeguard your, your energizer. So whenever there is a, a lightning strike, you know, by the time voltage hits the lines of the wire, since they are outdoor, if it's just an indoor device, you might not need to be considering your lightning arrestor because it's an outdoor device. The wires are outdoor and they are linked to your face. As I tend to say, the voltage of over sometimes 2000 volts just comes in and your energizer is not able to, to, to subdue that. So with this, this uh, uh, arrestor, it helps to subdue the lightning 
coming in that would have damaged your energizer. I hope this video will be helpful for many of us who are interested to know how you can connect, connect this and what this actually works for. Till we meet again in our next class, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with others. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.